Nipple sparing mastectomy. Who's eligible for nipple sparing mastectomy? There's a growing interest in this option of doing mastectomies. Let me explain what I believe the options are. Nipple sparing mastectomy. What is it? Well, it means saving all of the skin of the breast. You could possibly remove just a little bit of skin, maybe where the tumor is sitting right underneath. But in general, we're talking about saving all of the skin. We're talking about saving the nipple or realer area. So then I'm asked by patients, am I eligible for this? And what are the criteria for doing nipple sparing mastectomies? I can share with you there's no universal criteria. There's not a universal acceptance of all of us in the field of who's a good candidate and who is not. There are several absolute contraindications. In other words, times you should absolutely not have a nipple sparing mastectomy. Of course, one of those is if the nipple and a railer area are already involved by the cancer. Another contraindication is a super aggressive kind of breast cancer called inflammatory breast cancer. Uh, most of us feel that that's not a good idea either. After that, it varies from institution to institution, and hopefully over the next few years, there will be a greater consensus among all of us about who's a good candidate. Some of my colleagues feel that if the breast is too big and drooping too much, that it's too difficult to try and do a nipple sparing mastectomy, and that's a contraindication. Uh, fortunately, with the plastic surgeons that I work with, we've overcome that and come up with some newer techniques for the large D or double D that's drooping uh, too much. Um, there are other uh, times uh, where if the breast is way, way too small, can you reconstruct it and expand it? The answer is yes. One of the benefits has been, and I'm smiling a little bit when I say this, for my smaller breasted patients, Dr. Harness, can I be bigger? If we do a nipple sparing mastectomy, the answer is yes, you can. Because at the time of doing the mastectomy, we put in what's called a tissue expander. And then over time, expand things up. Now, here's something that's really critical. We don't want this side looking good and the other side drooping, okay? So therefore, if you have a mastectomy on one side, nipple or not, you have a legal right to have the other side lifted and made symmetrical. And that's really very, very important. And, and thank goodness we have these kind of statutes on the book so that you will end up coming whole out of the whole process. Nipple sparing mastectomy is gaining greater and greater acceptance. And by and large, the cosmetic results can be great. One important thing is you do lose sensation, but nobody can recreate a nipple or rela as well as the real thing. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.